its flame. What's going on guys? Draskass here. Today we're back to Mortal Phoenix Rising. Alright, so looks like all we have to do is figure out a way to start this dude's forge. <laughs> Maybe trying the front door might actually work instead of like the third level. Seems simple enough. Hit the lever. Flip the lever, do the coal, light the fire, continue. All right, so it looks like you have a limited time to do this. So basically, as soon as that goes, you want to try to light the fires, stand on the corner of this little platform, or at least that's what I found easiest. That way you can light the flame. Oh man, come on. <laughs> light the flame, lift up, and you should be able to hit the fire. All right, so we got that one done. All right, so that's all three. To the land opens up this half, which then we're able to throw the coal on the inside, light the fire like we had originally planned, and then that'll be half of the puzzle done, and then the next half will be done in a second. This symbol means fire. Makes sense for a forge. And that one could be a hammer. Festos has the mightiest hammer ever crafted. Yeah. It looks like there's some extra pomegranates and stuff. You want to grab them while you're here. <laughs> Thankfully, since we've been using our new ability, we've been doing like super good on health since we've just been using the bird to heal us. So we can craft a new weapon. Let's come over here to this side and see what we got. Okay. So basically this side you want to do like the little bullhorn, you want to do the axe, and then you want to do the hammer and knife. So basically you're just using all the offensive items. Huh. I was thinking that all of them would have to be lit, but no, it's just those. So that'll bring you to here, then basically you just grab another piece of coal, chug it on in the hole. Sweet, thanks so much for the follow. Alright, so let's see here. We need to back up a little bit. I'm gonna light the forward like a so. That glyph, I think it represents this forge. And that one matches the statue outside. These are some kind of clue. Alright, so we got some kind of clue, and I'm assuming that this is probably where you can craft like the best weapons in the game. We're not able to use it yet though, so I'm assuming we need to talk to him and he's going to be able to be like, Ah yes, my anvil. It's all back together. Yeah. On my next piece, I'm seeing snow, but trapped in a globe. I call it inclement weather bubble. Maybe snow sphere. No. Close. Yeah, no, that says it helps at all. You're here. It's like the forge was calling me. I couldn't think no way. About that. I cleared the vents, started the fires, and got the water wheels moving. Even unlocked some strange glyphs inside, but nothing happened. Well, I was talking to my cats, as well as, and they said they're the key to restarting it. They have to touch things. Now we're talking. Zeus. This place is ancient. They say you built this entire fort yourself. Me? But it's so green, so dirty, and that lighting.
The same your labors have been wasted on mediocrity. The disfigured God's past is a cesspool. His future, the cleansing fires of the forge! Turn away! Leave him to burn in its flames! Hephaestus, run! Your potential is outweighed by your foolishness! A pity I have to balance the scales! Oh man, we gotta fight this? So we can use the main little anvil as like protection attacks. That's good to know. It probably works against the lasers too then. And I mean, we could always just sit here and like pop infinite stamina mushrooms if we really wanted to, but I feel like that doesn't necessarily needs to be a thing yet. So we'll try to play it safe. Oh, this actually worked? Nice! There definitely wasn't any doubt. <laughs> nice! Alright, so you're finally dead. Yeah, she wasn't too bad to fight compared to some of the other bosses we've gone against so far. Hephaestus, come out! Ah, uh, you're okay. What is this? Such pain in this market. Sorrow? Suffering? Real art. I'd say you were trying to leave us a message. Me? How makes me here? I think past you left a clue to recover your memory. Something Typhon couldn't decipher. Can you read any of it? It's incomplete. Hephaestus, you genius! It is missing a piece! Now, where did I put it? This isn't your signature, Hephaestus! It's the rest of the puzzle! Hammer, a forge's fire, the statue, and this box. Do you know what this is? Of course, he did not know what it was. But in their possession was Pandora's box. You dare to open this again? Chaining you to this rock! was your justice for giving fire to mortals. Pandora's box was the mortal's justice. So you forced your son Hephaestus to forge a box capable of unleashing every conceivable evil upon them? That's justice? Hephaestus was happy to oblige. He knew what he was doing. He did what he was ordered to do after you tortured him for his entire existence. Don't you talk about my son! Pandora acted with innocent curiosity by opening that box. You acted with vile contempt! I gave them a warning and look what happened! Mortals ravaged and defiled their world and each other. Clearly, the warning was not enough. It's finished now. They are stone, and Pandora's box was the beginning of the end. So, first, we need a hammer. Check. Where did you... Never mind. I think past you is telling us we need to imbue that hammer with the power of the forge's fire, then break through here. That is so mean. If I'm reading this right, your essence is underneath. But that's not all. I've told you what this is. That would be a box. No. Well, yes. But also, it used to contain every kind of suffering. Enough suffering to fill the world. And you suffer, Pephaestos. A lot. Cast from Mount Olympus. Rejected. Alone. No matter how generous you were. No matter how hard-working. 
Every god rejected you just because you were different. This box is the final clue. I think Typhon stole your suffering, and that's why you lost your memories. So, to get my memories, to get my talent back. You mean feeling the pain that's been locked away. Go! But do we get to use his hammer? Or was that an ability? Because there is an ability with a hammer, but we were actually able to activate it. So it looks like we just need to come up here and just sort of follow the way this map layout is designed. So you just sort of fall there. Don't <laughs> make sure you use your wings all the way to land successfully. But yeah, you just follow the little airstreams all the way up to the very top. And I'm assuming like the very top fire is what's going to actually be like attached to us. So we go to one more ledge. Slow down. Climb. Don't you hit me. We'll do you. Then while you're just doing that, we're just going to bounce away from you and fine, right? Need to get stamina. All right, so once you get your stamina, you get to like this little sideways point here, and then you are going to have to climb the rest of the way. There's not enough wind to actually take us all the way to the very tippity top, but we should be able to do it. Then you get greeted with all these nice people who you have to kill. I don't know, but I feel like Ares ability is what's actually made this <laughs> gameplay a lot like easier to kill everybody with. Just the ability to be able to knock people out that quickly is just so awesome. And our bird's ability to heal ourselves when we need to is super useful too. Last person remains. <laughs> I didn't think we'd be able to dodge that. That was pretty cool. All right, buddy. Just die. Thank you. All right, so we just come over here and like stick the hammer in, right? Despite the extreme heat, Phoenix carried on undeterred, plunging the hammer of Hephaestus into the heart of the fire. Prometheus, this is pushing it. No human could dream of holding that hammer or holding your lightning. And yet, absorbing the power of the flames, the hammer came alive. And with it, Phoenix released the second of Hephaestus' blessings. With the hammer revived and Hephaestus' suffering trapped below, all Phoenix had to do now was jump. What are we aiming for? <laughs> okay, so I guess it's just 300 meters down. So probably next to that big gigantic statue is where I'm assuming his volt is. I didn't realize that we already had two of his blessings, which means we just need one more and his like whole quest line is completely finished already. <laughs> yeah, so it must be the statue here where all the big gigantic ogres are hanging out. Uh, yeah, <laughs> even though we use the hammer, we don't actually get to use it. That's pretty funny.
Phoenix felt a chill in the air of the vault that was more than cold. Ah, sorry, that's my new cologne. It's by Polish, the North Wind. I know, he's my cousin. Oh, and he didn't even hook you up. Ice cold. The air moves so strangely. I wonder if I could use that. So this is a no gravity area. It looks like I can change the wind's direction. Okay, so it should be able to carry us this way? Nice! Alright, so we made it that way, and then we just have to jump up here. This is a very interesting puzzle room. Alright, so we make it up top. I'm assuming we're probably going to have to change the air and just keep going like around in a circle. So it'll take us all the way over to this side. But then take us up here. Yeah, like the environment and everything in this whole vault is like super cool. Alright, so it looks like we got plenty of weight, and this is like the most stress free trying to get over in a gigantic area, so oh, I no. appreciate this dude's design. I can change. I'll be the sun you want. Why is it not actually. Alright, so once you get to this stage, you're going to have to manually move this little gigantic wooden pile of coal. For some reason, if you try to use your powers, it just doesn't work. And it seems to be the most finicky puzzle that we've done so far. Yeah, you just basically want to pick it up and roll it around like that. And sometimes you have to get like a different grab point. Now we are going to have to use our abilities. Wind, that's what's stopping us. Hold on. Sorry. I <laughs> Wait a minute. What's that thing all the way up there do? So that pushes the one down here, okay. So we have to manually push this dude and the wind resulting in it shouldn't be pushing this boulder that fast yet. So basically you have just enough time to walk this thing up here, get it close to this forge on the right and basically you can drop it in there to cook it. And then you're going to flip the switch back and you should be able to turn it on the way it can just sort of fly directly. So that goes there, and then basically you just boom. That'll get you some cooking. And at this point, you can go ahead and shoot the arrow because it should be lined up already. I'm not sure why it works all the way over on this side, but it looks like these two are connected somehow. So that'll give us a burning coal. And I, th <laughs> I thought the whole piece was going to be like that, but it looks like you can just sort of pick it up manually at this point and just throw it on like yourself. What the? Just as you had packaged the torments of the world to so kindly give to humanity, Phoenix would trap Hephaestus' torments inside Pandora's box. He's suffering. His tortured inspirations. My kid's an artist. What can I say? From that flame, the malice inflicted upon the festivals emerged. Malice? What malice? Hephaestus had it easy. Well, you threw him off Mount Olympus. His mother rejected him. The gods mocked him. No one invited him to dinner. Or if they did, they changed plans at the last minute. I'm busy, Prometheus. It happens. Tell me we... Okay, so there's clearly more, like, the coal and stuff that needs to be done here. Looks like it's going to be the exact same format, so we're probably going to be running around doing it quite frequently. Forget your quest! Walk unburdened! So we got light. Wait, stuff. All right, so hold on. Is this gigantic wooden box considered light? I can't actually push it. All 
All right, so basically you want to hit that. We're going to use the heavy boulder to block this wooden pallet from moving, and then we're going to flip the air again, and then it should be lined up with its other side. Then we move the heavy guy last. All right, so there we go. We got the boxes lined up. If you come over here and shoot the arrow, it should prevent the wind from being able to come through since that way is blowing to like the little red area. So nothing should be flowing through this tunnel. And then all we have to do now is push the heavy object all the way over here into the front area and it should be the end of the puzzle. Nice. All right, cool. So that's everything, right? Sweet. I will live in the flame and it will not consume me. Why would we want that swap? Was that a place where they tried to like mess you up if you weren't paying attention or something? Ares! How could you? I trusted you! Alright, so hold on. So this one, I think you have to do it in two parts. So basically we're going to push this little heavy guy over here to line up the wooden box. Once that's lined up, we'll be able to push the ball on into the next area, and then we use this guy to finish off the puzzle. Or at least that's what we're going to try to go for. So we'll see here. So basically lined up with that, that should block the area enough to where we use the ball. So now we want to flip the wind over to the other side. The wood box should stop on the heavy box. And you might have to come over here and hit the lever. Played with a mini or not, and that should move everything that way. Everything will stop. Boom. We get the ball, we roll it to like this point right here. Then we should be able to push it across on into the next area or needing to do anything else with it. Get the heavy block afterwards. And hopefully this doesn't like slingshot itself. It should be fine with the wind and everything that we have set up. So there we go. Just need to nice casually roll it across. Still trying to hold on to it just in case it does do something a little crazy. I'll be leaving it like right here at work. It's at least not in like a wind tunnel area, so it should be fine in that spot. So that dude's there, and this, if this dude rolled here, it would stop there. But where? Okay, so we have to get the ball all the way to that side. So is the ball part of the puzzle? So if it is, then we're going to need to move the heavy box and move this wooden box now. Hold on, I just figured it out. Alright. So that'll place everything but the ball. So we need to figure out a way to get the ball across. I'm hoping that this activates like something in the middle and actually will let us to like roll it across. Nice! Alright. <laughs> Sweet. So we actually have everything solved then. I was sitting there trying to figure out a way to roll the ball across before that, but I didn't even realize that that stuff would actually open up. That makes it a lot easier. So basically we get to this point <laughs> and it's going to go against everything that we've done before, but we need to purposely mess up what we had set up perfectly fine. That way we can get the last box put in the right spot to get the ball over to the other side. So I'm to move both of those guys all the way over like so. And then if we need to, we should be able to fix like the little middle area again because it wasn't too complicated. Then you just sort of roll it across and then put it in the hole.
that opens up the area. Sweet. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.